the bald eagle. To see its beauty in real life is a delight. Here in Delta, B.C., people are being spoiled because eagles are everywhere. There's probably, you know, two to 3,000 in the Delta area currently. Thousands of eagles, males, females, and juveniles. They've traveled from far north on the hunt for one thing, food. After the salmon have spawned out and basically rotted and, and, uh, and disintegrated, uh, the eagles will look for a secondary food source before they go off and breed uh, back to their, their nesting sites. Eagles and other birds have always flocked to Delta as it's located along their migration route. In previous years, eagles would scavenge only at the city's landfill. But now, there's also an organics composting facility where they can find food. It's attracting record numbers of peckish eagles. We're lucky here in the Delta area um, that we do have this uh, uh, phenomenon where, we're, where we are able to see them and enjoy them, you know, doing what eagles do. And one of the things eagles do is perch high above the ground. Last year, dozens of eagles died from electrocution after landing on power poles like the one behind me. The province has since modified the poles and this year, while eagle numbers are up, electrocutions are down. All these birds, not only the eagles, but all birds are having to adapt to human civilization. I mean, we're spreading out far and wide and these animals are just trying to make it. Um, so they don't have a choice but to be in our local parks or, or near people. The thousands of eagles will be here until the fall when salmon begin spawning. Then they'll hunt along BC rivers. But until that time, Hope has one piece of advice. Enjoy it while, it's, while you can see it because, like I say, everybody doesn't get that opportunity every day like we do here in the Delta area. In Delta, Travis Prasad, City News.